Five tips for freelancers. Hey, Tribe Midlaker here. I want to share my story of freelancing, how I used to freelance, how I've started, and five lessons that I've learned as a freelancer. So you can use this lesson and implement this in your freelancing career. If you're just starting out as a freelancer, this is going to be tremendously helpful for you because it's going to put you on a fast track. It's going to put you on upwards going spiral of success as a freelancer. So just don't make the same mistakes I did. Save yourself a good two years of work and implement this right away. So tip number five, focus on one thing and become the best at that. So there is loads of people. There are loads of people doing everything. They're a little bit good at development. They're a little bit good at design. They're a little bit good in copywriting. But what is a really highly paid skill and why people will actually recommend you is because you're the best in the industry in one specific thing. You can read the book, the one thing that is explaining you the entire concept of why you should focus on one thing and the entire economy of this. But if you don't have time to read this book, I'll just summarize this for you. So generally speaking, if you're the best at something, people will more likely choose to work with you and recommend you rather than people that are average at something. And that's it. That's the entire economy. And then the entire idea is that you don't have enough time to become the best at everything. So you're better off just focusing on one thing. So you're going to become the master of one thing. And then um, they prove with numbers why uh, it's more beneficial for you. Generally speaking, the entire book makes sense and they say truth. So focus on one thing. I've tested this on my own skin. I've tried delivering everything to everyone and then I've specialized in one specific thing. I became the best at one specific thing and trust me this makes way more money. People rather pay you five thousand dollars for an hour of your work if you're the best in the world. Whatever it is, whatever it is, there are so many different niches but whatever it is people rather pay you loads of money if you're the best in the world and you're average and that proportion is ridiculous if you're average you can make maybe an, I don't know like twenty dollars an hour if you're pretty good you can make hundred dollars an hour if you're the best in the world you can make five thousand dollars an hour whatever these are random numbers but you get the idea lesson number two once upon the time my Upwork account got banned because I did something that was not in line with terms of use or something like that. I don't remember it was banned. And my entire business collapsed. So what is the lesson for you? The lesson for you is that you have to use multiple lead generation platforms. So what does this mean? That you can't be dependent on one platform. So if you're dependent on literally one platform for you to get clients, once they ban you or once something doesn't work or once they close the platform, your business is screwed, you're screwed, you have to move out from your apartment, you have to start living on the street, you're homeless, you're hungry, you're desperate, your entire life sucks, your girlfriend breaks up with you, and uh, you're basically miserable. So make sure you have multiple lead generation platforms so that this can never happen to you and so that you can be always happy, wealthy, and all good things are coming into your life. Tip number three, well, I started with five, then there was four, then three, correct? Tip number three, build brand around your one specific skill that you're the best at. So why should you do that? Why should you build a brand? And what do I mean with building brand? I mean, use Facebook, Instagram, and every other social media out there to clearly communicate what you do so every single person in the world who finds out your profile knows exactly what you do and when their friends or friends of their friends are looking for this specific service you're gonna be the first person they're gonna think about so trust me this works for example what i do is i run digital marketing agencies and when people think of you know building digital marketing agency the first person that they are coming to is well i'm assuming me because so many people are contacting me in regards to that so that's because I'm building a brand about this, but you should build a brand about whatever you're doing. So this will make you easy to recognize and everybody will clearly understand what you do and why they should contact you once they need this specific thing or whenever any of their friends is mentioning that they need this specific kind of service, people will always refer to you because it's so clearly communicated and you're so branded on what you do. So don't 
underestimate the power of personal brand. You don't have to become a huge influencer, but build a clear brand on what you do and express this online as much as you're expressing this in the real life. Then tip number two is over deliver. So you might be thinking that, all right, I'm making this to make money, but you couldn't be more wrong. You're doing this to build relationships with your clients so you can continue working forever. So what does this mean is that you want to over deliver to your customers so they are extremely happy. So they are recommending you to all your friends. So you keep getting loads of referrals and you're getting so many job offers that you have to increase your prices so that you're making so much money and you have so little time to serve more customers that your freelancing career couldn't be couldn't be better. So you always want to over deliver. You want to make your clients happy. And this leads me to Point number one, and the most important one, turn your freelancing career into real life career by meeting your clients in real life. So meet them in person. Once you start establishing relationships with your clients all, all around the world, and you know, let's assume that you've been working with them for you know, six figure numbers monthly for a year, then invest in a freaking flight ticket, a hotel room, fly over to wherever they are, meet them in person and start establishing relationships in circles of your clients because it's gonna be an amazing seed for you to grow the real life career. So freelancing is a good entry level to starting amazing career in the real life. So you can start flying and meeting them in person and talking about their projects and how you can improve that. They can start introducing you to their friends who can become your clients in the future and this way you will establish this real life rapport of connections who are interested to work with you if you implement these five tips i can guarantee your freelancing career where <laughs> your freelancing career will boom now if one day you decide and you should um, decide to turn it into a digital marketing agency then go to medlaker.com and check the free training where I'm explaining you how to convert from freelancer into digital marketing agency owner or digital company owner so the training is free for limited of limited amount of time go to medlaker.com and I see you in tomorrow's video cheers